Hey, how's it going guys? Um, I meant to do this a few days ago, but um, I'm just going to go ahead and do it now since I actually have time. Um, there have been quite a few subscribers that were wanting to know how to use AMD Overdrive to um, either overclock their, their processors or, um, or at least keep the processors at a constant 2.4 gigahertz instead of having it jump back and forth so I'm going to show you that um, the AMD overdrive section that's in your um, in your vision control center <clears throat> as well as showing you the standalone AMD overdrive application which has a lot more features and options and I'm also going to show you how to activate um, your crossfire for dual graphics right within your AMD Vision Control Center. So uh, here we go. What you're going to do is you're going to go to AMD.com to make sure you have the latest, the latest uh, driver version. And what's going to happen is you're going to go to AMD.com and on the far right hand corner, you're going to go to the support and download section and there's an auto detect um, application that you can download that will automatically detect what processor and graphics card you have and download and install the appropriate one too so there is really no heavy lifting on your part um, so here we go this is what your AMD Vision Control Center will look like and all these little cool nifty tabs up here on the left hand side um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down to the performance tab and I'm also gonna show you what it'll look like in both the advanced view and the basic so if yours looks a little bit different then that's why it's in, it's in either either one of those two modes so I'm gonna click on performance and you've also got CPU power and AMD Overdrive, but you can access both through Overdrive. So I'm going to click on the Overdrive tab, and as you can see, mine is disabled, and that's because I've been using K10 Stat. Um, and I will tell you this: AMD Overdrive and um, and K10 Stat really don't seem to like each other that much. So if you are running an application or a game that only requires you know like 2.3 2.4 gigahertz something like that for the recommended specs then I would use AMD overdrive and just keep it at a constant 2400 megahertz as you can see my slider is all the way up at 2400 megahertz it keeps it consistent and it doesn't fluctuate up and down that gives you a really you know really decent smooth gaming experience for games that have recommended specs around that clock speed um, but if you're gonna play something like Battlefield 3 and you wanna you know kinda ramp the settings up then I would use K10 stat and not and I would disable AMD overdrive okay um, so what's gonna happen is once you open this it's going to um, this this bar will be grayed out at first you won't be able to, to adjust anything so what's going to happen is there's this button that says auto tune is going to be clickable and what that's going to do is it's going to scan your settings and your your processor to find out what speed it can safely overclock to and most most of us that have the um, AMD uh, A6 3400 series is gonna is gonna detect your boost speed rather than your raw clock speed. Um, so just about everybody is gonna have a cap of 2400 megahertz for uh, the AMD Overdrive. And once you do the auto tune, it may ask you to restart your computer. Um, it may not. If it doesn't, in either case. Um, once this automatically tunes the uh, clock speeds this will show up it'll be clickable and simply by clicking it it'll turn green and it'll enable AMD overdrive just like that 
and then you click apply. I'm not going to do that because I am going to be using K10STAT so I'm just going to disable that and I don't need to click apply because it was already disabled. Um, and you can also adjust your CPU your CPU speeds. And this these speeds are before before it boosts itself up. Um, I always just set when it's plugged in. I set it to 1500 megahertz as high as it'll go. And when it's on the battery, it'll drop down. It could drop down to 800 megahertz. You can change this to have anything you want. Um, and as you can see, the active power plant is high performance. So that is that. Let me show you the standard view. Now, in standard view, the performance module is going to be right here. And you just simply click on it, click on AMD Overdrive, and it brings you to the same menu. You know, it's pretty much cut and dry. So now that I've shown you that, I'm going to actually show you the standalone application, which has a way more features and it's more in depth, as you'll see here in just a second. There's your uh, disclaimer right there, basically telling you that they're not responsible if you tear up your computer from overclocking. So, and I would really wouldn't. Um, I honestly wouldn't overclock, you know, too much because you will fry your 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 PC. So, and as you can see, it's got um all your information on um on your memory and your clock speed and what your processor is and everything like that. You can see that right there. You got a basic view, detailed view, and there's little nifty drop down arrows right there that'll give you a more detailed explanation of what what um <clears throat> of what your processor is and like what the guts of your your computer system um there's an auto clock setting right there too and as you can see the clock speed is constantly going from about 1.5 to just below 2.4 gigahertz on all four cores um, and then it even gives you your memory frequency as you can see it's, my memory is at 665 megahertz um, and they even have a voltage boost option and let's see, they've got a stability test you can run you can benchmark to see what your performance is like they even have smart profiles um, and it if you have a separate uh, third-party fan installed in your laptop or, or what have you, it give you um, access to the controls. <clears throat> and there's where you can overclock your memory and um, and also overclock your CPU. And you can also ramp up your um, your bus speed. So, um, and also it has monitors, as you can see, all four cores are roughly about the same, kind of bouncing back and forth, um, you know, alternating, and it gives you your GPU status too. Now, this, the engine is right now, it stays at about 275 megahertz, and when you're playing, um, it goes up to a maximum of 400 megahertz with this particular A6 3420 processor anyway and the memory is again at 667 megahertz um, yeah so as you can see it's much more in depth and you really want to know what you're doing especially with the memory before you actually go in here and tamper with stuff because I don't know you know exactly how to set your my memory timings and all that stuff and while I'm at it I'm gonna go I'm gonna show you another nifty little program that um, that I use I probably went right past it and here we go it's called fusion tweaker and what fusion tweaker does 
is it also allows you to overclock your um, your 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 uh, <clears throat> APU. On, this is only for the Fusion line of AMD processors. If you don't have a an A an A4, A6, A8, or the A10, this is not going to work for your your uh, your PC. So as you can see. The the last two cores seem to be fluctuating between 1.5 and 2.4 the most, and the, the first two are pretty much staying at one point. Well, now they're all starting to fluctuate, but I don't really use this to overclock my um, my APU. What I just use this for is to to change the timing. As you can see now, it's in high performance, and. So what I'm going to do is just show you some, as you can see, I'm going to switch to HP recommended. And as you can see, it's just kind of really giving each processor, each core a chance to be it, um, to ramp itself up. And it does it a little bit slower. So then I'm going to switch to higher performance. And you're going to hit apply. And it's going slightly faster and we'll go to power save and as you can see because of my settings um, <clears throat> that I just showed you before it's gonna stay at each core is gonna stay at 800 megahertz this is gonna save a lot of save a lot of battery power but you're not gonna be able to really game like that on 800 megahertz um, and then I'm gonna go to gaming mode power plan and as you can see there go fluctuating a lot quicker the cycling the timing is a lot quicker so um, I think I'll just leave it on that and then you just simply close it you don't have to do anything else um, so yeah that is about it for AMD overdrive um, if anybody has any more questions on AMD overdrive that I can try to you know I'll try to answer the question as best I can um, and if I don't have the answer I'll at least try to direct you to you know their support site or something like that um, but again this is a very good way to you know overclock your your APU if you were comfortable doing that if you're not comfortable either don't do it or find out the correct settings that you need to have in order to overclock safely um, and I highly recommend to people you please if you're going to overclock make sure that you have proper cooling because if you overclock to say 3 gigahertz or something like that and you got and it gets hot you can fry your your APU that way if you have proper cooling you'll extend the life of your or you'll keep you the life of your laptop you know a lot longer so you know, I don't want to hear any complaints about somebody um, frying their their circuit their circuit board from overclocking because if you don't have a cooling pad, is I'm not really responsible for that. So, um, just a word to the wise. Anyways, um, hope you guys uh, got a, a, something out of this video, and um, you know, rate this video like it if you like what you saw in the video and you know leave me some comments give me some feedback and uh i'll talk to you guys in the next one